Gavin from Bush, love to have you back here at the house. Uh, it's good to see you once again, my friend. You're looking good. Thank you, thank you. Nice to be, nice to be with you. I'm, I'm, my eyes are moving around like a shifty guy. I'm telling the truth. You know, I'm shifty eye, but I'm looking around your room. It's pretty oh, cool. A lot of yeah. stuff. That Beethoven. Yeah. Do you ever, do you ever bust of Beethoven? No, God, I wish. That's pretty. What you're seeing back there. I don't that even bust. that sculpture. That sculpture back there. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a, she's kind of like a hell priestess or something like that. It's a oh, pretty cool wow. sculpture. Yeah. I, I mean, like with my eyesight from here, you know, across the, across the airways, it looks like Beethoven. Yeah. I got a, you know, obviously a picture of Dave Grohl back there and, you know, Maynard from Tool and, and a lot of cool stuff, but yeah. I, did, over I, the years. I, I played, um, where was I? Fenway Park. And there's a picture of, on the wall of Dave playing it. And I took a picture of myself next to him and sent it to him. <laughs> That's awesome. Like, hey, I was with you. So uh, your last time you and I spoke was uh, back in August. Uh, you were at the state fair. You took your boys around. And you guys had plenty of food yeah. walking around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And at that time, obviously, the, the album, The Outer Survival, hadn't come out. That came out in October. But you had mentioned to me that, you know, uh, the fans, Bush fans, love the kingdom. And you were hoping that the love, the admiration, the appreciation for that album would be, you know, rivaled with the art of survival. Has it lived up to your expectations so far? Has it met that? Has it, has it felt like that to you? Yeah. I've got to say it's felt wonderful. Like it just kept, you know, keeps the, not the pressure cause I love it, but the mm -hmm. sort of, uh, it just, yeah, it's been really incredible and it just keeps me focused on um, keeping that quality up. You know, I think people are responding to, just the the band um blossoming feels like there's a i don't know what's going on we're like a cherry blossom season this band is just doing great and uh it's just a, a measure of that and uh you know even up to now i know you're gonna, we're going to talk about all things must change you know um for the, for the deluxe uh deluxe version so just you know we're having a blast and just trying to keep the quality and the standard up and keep what people like about us and not putting out anything except things we truly believe in and think that, that have a, a shot at, 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 at changing people's uh, lives for the day, changing how people think and giving people a sort of a sense of weaponry against the world. I love it. That's smart. I like that. Um, you know, watching the music video, kind of doing a deep dive on the whole record. Uh, I, I love it front to back, by the way, but um, the first single, More Than Machines, and in the music video, you know, you're running all over stage and it's live, obviously, it's got that live feel to it. And I I'm curious, like, where do you find all that energy after all these years to do it at such a high level? And I suppose it goes back to what you're saying. You just got this, it's in you to bring it. You love the pressure. You want to perform and, and put out the best you possibly can. Yeah, I just, I have a really simple philosophy, which is there's only one way to play a show. And uh, I don't care whether it's to 100 people in Ohio or 10,000 people in New York City. Sure. Uh, it doesn't make any difference. You have to, it's you're either in it or you're out. And, and so that commitment is just a, I was very lucky with my sort of Bush part one. You know, those guys were willing to play shows for 10 years and never go home. Yeah, and that was really rare to have that kind of effort. And now, now this lineup says, "Geez, 2010 or something like that, like 13 years of it." I just, I'm so lucky that they're prepared to forfeit life and come on the road and be those things. And so, when you spend all day in a in a hotel room, you make a mockery of yourself if you don't do a show that blows everyone away. Because if you sure. have a slow day and then you have a slow night that's a i don't know i just couldn't have it i just just want to unleash it i mean i'm about to go on tour again and um it's a strange thing because you just become sloth like the whole life is just about that day about sure that day. and just waiting and waking like a sort of a sleeping shark you know and uh and then when 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 the lights come on and the people are there and the excitement of the intro starts, you're it's like, go time, yeah. You gotta just bring it. And there's so many things people can do, let alone other bands, that I think you you don't have that responsibility to people, then they're gonna soon figure that out. And I you know, like we st I still feel like we're in the UFC of music. I don't feel there's some big bands that are exalted and 
live in rarefied air. You know, the Chili Peppers, the Foo Fighters, uh, Muse, these bands, you know, great people, friends sure. of mine, really, you know, impressive bands. They live in this rarefied air where they just sort of, I don't know, just the world just opens for them. And I feel in the in the world of, of, of regular people where you know, I got to do a great show. I have to make the record amazing. And I, you know, if I slip or the standard drops, I don't feel like we have the same, um, uh, 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 what do you call those safety nets? Sure. You know, I just don't, I think there's too many great bands behind me. Bad Omens, uh, Highly Suspect. Uh, you Sleep know, Token. Kind of- have you heard Sleep Token yet? Oof. <laughs> Oh no! More, more great, more trouble. No, no. I like it. Mm-hmm. A sleep token. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. So therefore, I just you know what I mean. I, I feel hungry. I'm still like I'm still alive. I'm still fit. I'm still strong. I just don't, yeah. yeah. I, I I can't. I don't take anything for granted. And uh, it's it's a it's a funny thing, you know. Like I've been so lucky to do this. Talking to my friend yesterday that I grew up with, that we were living in a basement just writing songs and playing pubs and wondering where was our life going and <laughs> buying five dollar packets of pasta from uh from the local deli totally ramen oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah ramen noodles that, that whole <laughs> life that whole life and he was saying to me yesterday and i was driving a, 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 a drop top porsche and it was california sun yeah. and he was laughing going did you ever think that all this time later you'd be doing that i was like hell no i didn't even know <laughs> i love the reflection that's great <laughs> so what that means to me is it doesn't make me take my foot off the gas it makes me sure. get more accelerator pedals because i don't want it to end and i realize i don't take my eye off the ball how did i get here it's like through those shows yeah right the best songs we could and there's too many things for and too many bands that are great for the, the, you know when someone comes to see me they paid you know, 50 bucks, they're sure. spending $30 at the bar, they've got a park, they get the merch, they're giving me, and they could be doing it for, it's so flooded, the whole thing of bands. Because Understood, like, yeah. They could be seeing any bands. And so you could just got to respect that. And, it'll, it'll, you know, and I do respect that. And I am, I don't sort of... Um, Take it for granted at all. I'm not hearing you say that at all, of course. Yeah, that's definitely in your voice. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Yeah. I, appreciate that there are fantastic bands who want me to get out of the way you know <laughs> sure. want to talk to you right now you know what i mean i'm taking yeah. your time up right now there's a lot of bands who would like to be doing that and so yeah. you got to respect that i have to respect that and and uh, and the way i show my respect is by is by giving everything that i have that's me showing respect that's to beautiful the, yeah. the, the, the environment to everything i'm in and absolutely and that's it that's why that's why and so i don't keeping- know why. So, you know, and know again, why. Gavin, no, I love it. I love it. All this means a lot. And and obviously you're a well-spoken person. You speak from the heart too. You speak truth, but you do obviously know it's important to keep your foot on the gas and that leading into this next single and the deluxe edition, you know, the art of survival Chop, drops on June 9th, but this song, all things must change. I've, I've spent some time with it. I, I, I'm not blowing smoke. It's easily one of your best songs to date. The driving force behind the songs, the lyrical context, there is that passion, there is that heart in that song. Just the beginning, if you don't mind me putting this out there, you know, forgive yourself, let it slide. You can't sink so far inside. Colors collide on the daydream, bright like the face of the sun, letting yourself become water. That's beautiful, beautiful. And that line too, just reminds me, forgive me, of Bruce Lee a little bit too, become water, my friend. The last line is love like you just begun. Yes, love like you just begun. Exactly. And that just ties it all together. Where does inspiration from that song, this new song that you guys will be getting very soon, that is an ass kicker in many ways in Bush respects, this thing hits you hard and doesn't stop from front to back. It's it's amazing. So anyways, your inspiration. Um, I love this life. Yeah. I, mean, I, 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 you know, I like talking about this music. I like talking to you. I love doing shows. And the, those, the songs are the keys to the kingdom. If I don't have the songs, you know, I, I, don't, I don't get the keys. I have to sort of be outside the kingdom, you know, playing sure. over the wall. And I don't, I wanna, I wanna be in the kingdom. And I, you know, we're all playing catch up after the uh, pandemic, especially, you know, with me, I don't know, you know, yeah, in the band, you know, we're sort of like, 
upper middle level you know we're not like a, a can't play stadiums I can't, sure. you know that sort of level of band you know the chili peppers are you know wonderful badass guys i'd say that i talk about them because i saw anthony the other day sure uh, him in malibu and i said to him is it amazing like you're still doing it and you're doing it so great you know <laughs> i mean i'm doing it my way too not the same as him but i, I don't know if he took it in his drive it's funny I'm like, sure he has a mutual appreciation and love like, and wow. respect. I was like, wow, it's just it's just amazing because people fall by the wayside and we lose people all the time. And and um, that's often because they, they quit, they don't make good records, mm -hmm. uh, they don't do good shows, mm -hmm. and they just fall further away. And so you got you gotta keep in there. And, and so that inspiration was was being inspired by just this life. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that that is heavy. So, do, do, was that a focus too with this song, or what? What starts that? What's the jump off point to make this so driving? I mean, this is a very guitar heavy song for Bush, which the whole record, the Art of Survival. There's a lot of guitars on that record, but it's really predominant in this song. Yeah, I, you know, it's just it's just everyone, you know, like everyone was inspired by more the machines. Everyone's loving it. This this semi new direction since the black and white rainbows are just like consistently quite hard records uh, strong records it's just because it makes the show exciting and we just we're a new i mean the band's never been better and going to see us live it's we've got great uh, production through this wonderful uh, man we've been collaborating with it's called michael schwann and uh, who's been trying to work with me for a few years he, this guy's done Cirque du Soleil and he wow. was me through the pandemic for three years he was writing me saying he i did a song jumpsuit i did a cover of 21 pilots jumpsuit for Cirque du soleil uh tyler Very bates cool. had me sing it it was so fun and i was gonna be part the song was part of the Cirque du soleil show in vegas but of course the pandemic came and they, they shut down after six shows so oh. the show died uh as evan did mm -hmm. and uh the 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 guy who because the idea was to get me in there and we loved the, when I did my version of 21 Pilots song, the, the Jumpsuit, which is great. We should release that. Um, it's a great song. They're a great band. Uh, he stayed in contact with me and would write me periodically saying, look, I reached a point in my career where I could work with lots of, he works with enormous bands, enormous acts. He goes, but I also would like to work with people I'm inspired by and you really inspire me and I really want to work with you. And I was like, wow, this guy is so... And every year, for three years, he'd write mm. me, times a year so just checking in and i was thinking i was like you know we don't have much budget we're not really you know we're doing good but sure not the, we don't have like you know i saw muse the other night they had every everything yeah, you could hit for it was like everything you could have in a light show and lasers and confetti they had even the confetti that was like long confetti so i've heard their the, management say so gavin I've heard their management say they should just shoot $5 bills out in the air because they're just spending money, you know, like cause it's crazy, you know, all the confetti yeah. like you're talking about and the pyro. It's wow. So it's, it's wild. And, and uh, we did good. It's not, we did great content and I'd make it with friends of mine, directors. And so we do our best, but it was never quite sitting down and doing production. And so this time on the last tour, we got the opportunity to work with Michael and realize the show better and just elevates oh, everything. That's cool make extensions, make things, make intros, interludes, sure. all these things I wanted to do forever. And I never did. I'd sort of be like flying by the seat of our pants. Quick, go right. play this. I've got to play these 12 songs. But so now, from now on forward, we've, we've, Chris doesn't like it. He's always like, why are we doing an intro for an intro? It's like, relax. <laughs> we'll it he yeah, doesn't no, like cool. it. But the yeah. rest of us like it. And we have these moments and it creates a show so I don't think the band's ever been better. You know, it's it's really fun. And so in that context, if I'm going to do a new song, it's got to be white hot or else there's no point. Mm -hmm. Got there's it. No point, Understood. You know? Understood. There's yeah. Fine. So. Is there is there more, uh, Gavin, on the deluxe edition, more music on the deluxe, or is that just the one song, All Things Must yeah. Change? Is that Oh, my God, no. I got okay. Amy Lee to sing wow. on a thousand years with me. Ah, oh, that's my last she question for you when we get there. But wow. She, I got goosebumps when I say it. You didn't yeah. send it. You don't have that. I they don't. I would love to hear that. Oh wow, God. beautiful, beautiful song. Oh and and again, God. when I, I get there, I can't wait. I, yeah, I can go on and on and on and on about it because I'm sure. just talking about Amy. Yeah, I'm just providing a. I'm like a. I'm like a, the framework. I'm like the frame, and she's the 
she's the magic. I, wow. <laughs> I can imagine. I mean, yeah, I was, um, gonna, I was gonna, that was gonna, I was gonna wrap it up with that song, but I mean, so uh, obviously the, the, the deluxe comes out, there's a lot to it. The packaging I'm sure is uh, over the top as well and awesome and beautiful. And then more songs, more music yeah. to look forward to. It's, it's a couple of live songs. We did them live, um, more the machines and live heavy as the ocean. I, I have a mixed feelings about live songs. <laughs> I don't really understand them. If, if it's a good like, mix, do you like them or you do? Is that got to be the only way? If it's a really beautiful mix and it it works for you and it, it's reminiscent of the original or? Yeah, I mean, I, there's the Steve Ray Vaughan Double Trouble. Um, and I think he does a cover of Superstition. And that mm-hmm. is the greatest live recording I've ever heard in my it's life. It's amazing. That, yeah. I want it to be live. I don't want a recorded version of that. Mm. Uh, David Bowie live. That was a great record. But outside of that, it's not my favorite. I know when Pearl Jam releasing every show live, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever heard it. So this is not what I really, I think records are, yeah. So anyway, there's two live songs in there, which we mixed and worked on to make, uh, we didn't uh, substitute anything, but I did mix it a bit, get the levels slightly different. But that doesn't, you know, it's, I'm, yeah, I, I, I can't <laughs> fake excitement about that. because I Sure. I don't, I, I, I don't understand it, but it seems to be, some people like it, so they sort of do it to, you know, some people want fries, put fries. <laughs> totally. Um, I look I forward like, to hearing the whole thing, my friend. By yeah. the way, I like fries. So, yes. Uh, fries more than live songs, actually. Oh, you know. interesting. Interesting. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> but the, but the, the song with Amy is a different, and it's put us in a, you know, I can send it to my mum, you know. Wow. Ooh, she loves it. You know, it's, she elevated it. She, uh, as I say, she that, that, took us uptown. She took us way uptown. I mean, I was in the Bowery before, like you know, moaning and sad. And she just took us way uptown to swanky. So I'm like, I'm like, we could. This is a this is a pop hit now. Mm, is it really okay? Well, d- yeah. does she do that right. line that you do, or is that ooh, it's up higher? Where you're up that that line in yeah. the song. Does she do that, or do you do that, or do you both go back and forth? Oh, well, I decided to actually. I like that. Um, that record desire the bob dylan bob dylan desire and and he is i think it's emily harris is it singing he's got a couple of girls that sing with him my I'm having a brain freeze that's right and so they they sing together mm. i didn't want it i don't it, everyone does it where you take a verse i'll take a verse we'll meet right. you in the court. i was having none of that it's too intimate so we just i i think i sing the beginning bit and then it's we're just together okay i can't well i'm more uh, it's more intimate because if I, I they, and they, my manager would say, oh, the label was asking, are you going to do, are we going to feature her? Like even the mix, the first mix I got, mm-hmm. uh, the Eric that he did, second verse, I was all the way off. And she's like, I was like, whoa, 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 what's happening? What's happening? This is not, no, no, no. This is mm-hmm. us singing together. Beautiful. All the way. All the way. Although I, I start it off. Uh, and then as soon as everything comes in, she's, we sing it together. It's so beautiful for that. Also, it's different. It's not the same as generally you do hear people doing verses, the trade verses, yeah, which works. Yeah. But for this, I was like, no, this is like a conversation that's going on. We're talking to each other the whole time. Yeah. So and- peeps that are uh, watching this right now, again, referring back to this is 1000 years, the last track on yeah. uh, the mm-hmm. art of survival that Gavin's saying is going to be on this, you know, the deluxe edition, him and Amy Lee together. I can't wait to hear that. I wrote down actually some of the lyrics too. you know, you, you were on to me. You set me free. I wish we could sleep for a thousand years. I love you best uh, when there are no fears. I mean, that's gorgeous. That just washes over you, man. That's really cool. And I can't wait to hear the two of you sing it together. But it's so true, right? Yeah, yeah, it it's truly so true. is. I mean, I've messed up so many, um, you know, situations by not, um, you know, with fear. You know, fear is nobody, very hard to let go and to truly you know to fully give yourself for me i'm a weirdo so this is hard and, and uh that's what it all is and if you, i just love that idea that if you love without fear you, you know that's a that's a very it's heavy it's cool. love yeah it is thank you so much for your time today my friend i know you got to run there hit me up already saying gavin's got to go so i will definitely let you go it's great to see your right. face again i can't wait to see you live and i can't wait for the music my friend take care yeah let me know about the amy song hit me you up. will you bet i promise brother. on instagram i'm always there yeah, okay. thanks again, dude. Bye. Bye-bye.